Alright, what is up guys? We are back for more Wars Ratchet 3 action. So like in my previous uh, video, I did say that I was going to um, get these special crystal weapons which will give you incredible strength when they are actually uh, get more experience or what is it called? Nah, I don't want to get that. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stick with Machow. I don't like this weapon, but it doesn't matter because they're all good. So, whatever. At least they're they're pretty low in crystals right now. Because if the the more you progress in the game, the more crystals they will they will require because of the the skills or the attributes they will get so it's better just to get them now and that's one thing I did not know or uh, yeah I did not know when I when I first played this game I did not know about these weapons so that's why I learned the hard way because by the time I got them they required like four or six crystals I think six or four or five crystals or something like that so, it's best to get them now, early. That way you won't have to sacrifice so many crystals. Uh, so, I'm just going to go ahead and weapon and fuse. Give it more slots. So, like I said, if you this is your first time playing this game, or you're or you're going to get this game in the future, and you don't know what to do at the beginning because most people don't know what they're doing when they're playing a game for the first time. So, this will be a good idea for you guys to start on. I'm not going to increase the levels just yet. I'm going to wait till I get max growth points, then I'll start giving my character steroids to become really strong early in the game. I might um I might actually I'll probably growth point farm outside of the game. Outside the, uh, not outside the game, but like outside the LP. Yeah, they all died. So we have to go back in time. And, um, uh, Try to save him. So like I said, I'll almost likely growth point farm outside the LP that way um, I can get I can go through these uh, stages a lot quicker and play them on a harder difficulty so that I might be able to get some better skills and whatnot. Because I want to push my characters up, like one character up to like level 50 early in the game so that way it'd be a lot more interesting to playing on hard mode than normal mode. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to bore you guys playing easy modes all the time. Ah, 
た大した軍勢だね和歌を先に行かせてよかったよこの一致が生き延びられるかわからないかいやもう生かすため犠牲になるなど許さない So I haven't I got some news for you guys uh concerning my future channel I didn't really tell this to anybody on my main channel yet or I haven't announced it yet but um other than my Facebook group but I just got myself an HD PBR 2 gaming gamers edition I just ordered it from eBay so I should have it by next week so I'm finally going to upgrade myself in, um, in the capture device because everybody's using HDMI people are uploading video games or videos in um, 1080p quality which is um, most most gameplays that have 1080p now that don't have an HDMI capture card they're not true 1080p quality but um, people that have the HDMI capture cards like Elgato uh, Roxio Pro and the PBR2 those three can actually capture true 1080p quality because the regular Hogpog cannot capture 1080p it can only capture 1080i so people that are uploading it in 1080p including myself which I have done on several videos it's not true 1080p quality it does look like it yes but it's really just upscaling the, uh, the quality of the video, really. So, next week, um, I'll definitely be getting my hands on a new capture card. But I don't think I'll be uploading my videos in 1080p because um, these videos are like 20 minutes long. And it takes a while for YouTube to process, process them in 1080p. I might do it on the first video to see what it looks like but um other than that i probably won't and i'll probably just stick with the uh, 128720 so oh yeah and i also got another wii u game I got on um, the Sonic, uh, Sonic Transform. I can't remember the name. <laughs> I'm terrible with names, but it's the Sonic Racing, Racing game, All Stars Transform, something like that. Um, got that off of eBay too. So, but you'll see more of that on my main channel because I upload only um, Mario, Sonic type games on that channel, even though. I could upload it on this channel for... I don't think it does have a story mode to it though. I think you just race. So, yeah. I don't have a choice but to buy things from eBay now because all the popular games are sold out in my area. It's ridiculous. And it's good. I wouldn't be surprised if they're all gone again because of Black Friday. I mean, they were all gone prior to the Wii U being released. Like, I went to my Walmart and they were all they were sold out of Super Mario Bros. U. They were sold out of the Sonic game. They were sold out of Zombie U. They were sold out of Black Ops 2 U. GameStop also was sold out. This game, they only had one copy of this game that I'm playing right now. And I grabbed the last one. So, it's hard to get anything now. It's hard. It's already hard enough to get a Wii U at your local retailer, but you can't even get the games too now because they're sold out. It's ridiculous. I mean, I've seen people 
um, already forming lines outside of Best Buy on Thanksgiving Day. That's how overrated Black Friday is. And I know you guys are like, well, that's normal. I mean, people do that. I know, but on Thanksgiving Day? I mean, come on. It's Thanksgiving Day. You wouldn't be seeing me in the line for nothing. I'd be stepping in my face, if anything. But I'm just so happy that I got my Wii U um, before Black Friday. I got it on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. That's right before Thanksgiving, right before Black Friday. And if you want to know more about that, um, go, to my, go to my main channel and watch my unboxing. Pretty inter interesting story. Because I really wasn't supposed to get my Wii U until probably like next month or some shit like that. Because I was, I'm on the waiting list, but I'm like number 56. So. And I looked at, I looked under the box of the Wii U that I got, which is the uh, deluxe Wii U I have. I looked under the box of it and it showed a number 8 under it so I'm thinking like maybe this Wii U belonged to the person that was on the waiting list as number 8 so I got really lucky and the reason why I got it is because that person did show up within the 48 hours that they were supposed to get it so I called in GameStop and asked if they had any Wii U's in and they asked me was I on the waiting list because they're not going to sell it to you if you're not on the waiting list. Um, and I told them, I, yes, I, I am on the waiting list. And they said, okay, yes, we have one in. You can, you can come and get it. Um, and they asked me what, you know, how long would it take me to get it, or you know, what time would I be there? And I told them I'd be there in 15 minutes. And they said, sure, go ahead, you know, and we'll come see you in 15 minutes. I was like, awesome, awesome. I can't believe I'm getting with you just by calling GameStop. That was, that that made my day. I was really happy. If that's not lucky, then I don't know what is. Cause if I had made that call, I still be we you less. I still be waiting right now. Damn it, he died. Kong Zone died. So obviously we're gonna have to go back in past. We're gonna have to go back in the we're gonna have to go back in time again to prevent his death in order for him to join us. See that's one thing that makes this game long, um, because it has these going back in time to prevent deaths, etc etc etc. So you save a few friends at one time and then one dies in that time and then you have to go back in time to prevent his death so that's how it works in this game and then you also unlock the character so you can't complain holy shit Shit, that is a lot of people that I just fucked up. Oh yeah, racking up a lot of gems and EXP. I like that. Well, you know I was gonna level up. But like I said, at the rate, at the rate these retailer stores are going with the get Wii U games being sold out, I'm just gonna have to download my games because they get sold out very fast. Cause everybody's buying them. 
some people are buying the games even they don't even even though they don't even have the Wii U. They're just buying the games so that they can sell them on eBay, whatnot. And that's what a lot of these uh, younger kids don't understand. They're they're wondering how come all the games are gone when there's only you know a few Wii U's that are being sold. Well, that's because people are buying these Wii U games and they're going to make profit, more profit over on eBay. That's why they're buying. They're not buying it just to have a Wii for a Wii U. They're buying it to gain more money. And that's just one of the drawbacks of new comp because it's gonna it just makes it harder to get anything. Even the controllers. I mean people are selling things individually on eBay just to gain more profit off of them. And for those that actually have a Wii U, we are the ones that are going to suffer because we can't get any of those things because they're all sold out because people want to be greedy on eBay to gain an extra few bucks than what they actually bought it for. And that's why I'm having to buy most of my stuff off of eBay. I couldn't even buy any eShop cards. I was I was gonna buy some eShop cards to download some games too. But guess what? They didn't even have any of those. I'm not sure if they were sold out or they just never had them to begin with because it's you know too early to kinda have those cards those cards there. But I was looking for the eShop cards for the Wii U, but they didn't have those either. Because you can't use um, you can't use Wii points for Wii U games. Because it's two different consoles. So don't go out to Walmart and buy Wii U points and think you're gonna get Wii U games with it. Nope, it doesn't work like that. For those that didn't know. So if you already knew then don't worry about it. I mean, you can still use Wii points, but you can only buy, like, you know, stuff in the Wii U shop. Not Wii, the Wii shop. So you have to go to the Wii menu and go to the uh, Wii shop channel. And you can buy, like, the Zelda, the 64 Zelda games and stuff like that. And the cool thing about it is you get to play those games in 720p or 10 or 1080p. It doesn't it doesn't revert back to 480p like on a regular Wii console. So if you do play Wii games, they will still be in 720p because of your uh, Wii U console. Well, that just dep it depends on what cables you're using though so if you're not using you know component cables or HDMI then you're not gonna see it in HD <laughs> you're not gonna see it in HD but I'm using component cables for the Wii so it's a good thing I bought the component cables for the Wii because 
I have these component cables for the longest time, but never actually used it for HD quality. Because the Wii doesn't have HD, so... But now, they actually are in good work because of the Wii U. God, the most annoying thing in this game are the horses that trample over you. Oh, weapon deadlock, yes! That's my first weapon deadlock on this game. Or I should say, on the Wii U. First weapon deadlock, guys, right there. Get up! I think this guy is like the only person in this game that you fight the most because he's like almost in every battle. <laughs>俺たちが守ったわけで、でもその時の俺たちは死んでいて。ああ、高さん、わけがわからないよ。いかなる方法であれ、我らは救われた。これよりはそれがしも共に戦う。死の美が術にかかるとは面目ない。がっつり働きませ
early in the story mode you get a lot of crappy weapons but they are somewhat useful when it comes to weapon fusion you get more slots so yeah ah new items sweet cool cool awesome we get three new cards for dual mode So not only you unlock the characters, you also unlock their cards, which is pretty awesome. And a lot of wallpapers. What I'm I hope this game does get like DLC stuff. Cause I, I think it will. It should get some DLC stuff in. one battle per vid like I promised so next time guys uh, we'll be uploading another video so subscribe if you haven't if you're interested in these kind of games and thanks for watching